This video is brought to you by the FMB shop where you can find some of the best scale 400 models. Find the link in the video description below. With this being the 740th review here on the channel, there's bound to be some repetition in this series. But today we can well and truly say we have some firsts, as it is the very first time that I will be reviewing a model of Panda models, and it is the very first time that Pelita Air is featured here on the channel. And with that, a very warm welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A32200 of Pelita Air. At the front of the box, we have this really wonderfully colorful design with a rendition of the aircraft. And we can see that this aircraft model has been limited to 120 pieces, so well and truly a rare model. The back side of the box continues the very colorful uh, design of the airline's livery. So let's see where the journey is heading with this aircraft model. And here she is, the Airbus A320 in the perhaps standard livery of Pelita. I must admit, I don't know that much about this airline. Might be because it was kind of rebranded only two years ago and is only flying domestic traffic in Indonesia. And I have seen a few images from the airline and some have this livery, some have a slightly modified livery. So I'm not quite sure which one is the standard livery, but I'm sure you will let me know in the comment section below. But today we will take a look at this very colorful aircraft model that has been made by Panda Models, also a manufacturer that I have not been reviewing so far. So I'm looking forward to see what the aircraft model can offer us collectors. So when we look at the horizontal stabilizer, we can see uh, some lovely printed details, including some safety markings. On the vertical stabilizer, we then have this really lovely color scheme of the airline with a bunch of colors. But that does also give a bit of challenges because when you have these many colors that you need to add in the print, there will be some overlaps. And at some points here on the stabilizer, we can kind of see these overlaps in the print. But as I say, it is a rather challenging livery to uh, do these traditional types of prints. Um, but there are also examples where uh, manufacturers have done a better job, but certainly also a worse job. Now on the fuselage, we then have the full registration code of the aircraft. We have some uh, details in the cabin doors and a few other markings on the fuselage. And of course, we do also have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust at the very tail of the aircraft. Then if we move to the front of the aircraft, we can see across the fuselage, we have the Pelita Air branding. Underneath it says a member of Pertamina, that is an oil and gas company, which is the parent company of the airline. So I guess they can get some cheap air fuel. In any case, we find loads of other details here across the fuselage, plenty of safety markings, small hatches, sensors, everything you want to have. We, of course, also have some detailing in the cabin door and we find the Indonesian flag just behind the cockpit windows. The cockpit section itself, of course, also has a, a few uh, static ports and uh, petrol tubes or sensors. And we, of course, have the cockpit windows with the window wipers printed on. Overall, I think the most also looks pretty decent here the a320 from panda models so that's a good thing so let's move on to the engine cells where we can see they have added the silver leading edge just behind that in the form of a ring shape just around the fuselage we of course again have the pelita air color scheme and we have some safety markings uh, there could of course be a few more prints on the engines but we do have the basics covered so at least that and when it comes to the physical detailing i think uh, panda models has done a fairly decent job with this as well because it does look pretty well especially here from the front very very nice you can see the engine fan blades did you know that this review was made possible thanks to the great support of the fmb shop did you also know that they have awesome scale 400 models on sale ng models jc wings aviation 400 and as of late also panda models what else could you wish for well how about day one discounts pre-order discounts and sales throughout the year so don't hesitate and find your next favorite model at the fmb shop and even better they also have scale 500 and 200 so check them out links are in the video description below and once again thanks to the guys from the fmb shop for making this review possible
And so if we take a look at the fuselage just above the wings, we do have the emergency exits printed on. And behind that, once more, one of these uh, plenty safety markings. They're basically marking where you can cut into the fuselage in case of an emergency. We find it here, but also, of course, across the entire fuselage. But from there, we should move on to the wings because we should definitely also take a closer look at them. Starting off with the top side, where we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers carved out fairly nicely maybe a little bit drawn away by the base color but we do have different shades of gray for additional detailing we have the markings as to where to walk on the wing both in form of a line and in form of writing and of course we also have the markings for the emergency exits printed on really lovely job the underside of the wings offers more nice physical detailing and here we also find the full registration code of the aircraft once again. The A320 of Belita Air has of course also been equipped with winglets which we should also look at here quickly. Um, I think we have some lovely bit of detailing here of course mostly in print where we also find the Belita color scheme again but we should also check the angles of these winglets and yes I think they are within margins although perhaps not exactly the same angle on both sides at least on this little aircraft but of course that can be different from model to model so how about the landing gear well that is made entirely out of metal except of course for the wheels they are made out of plastic the overall detailing is not bad but i have seen it better for example we don't have detailed wheel caps also the front landing gear at least on this model is a little bit crooked but we have a lot of printed details at the front landing gear of course the last three letters of the registration code on the belly of the we can see even more printed details here at the front. We should also quickly mention that, of course, this model does have the feature of rolling wheels, if that is something you like. And to move back to the belly of the aircraft, we can find even more printed details related to the landing gear, but of course also other parts of the aircraft, like the ram air intakes. But we do also have a hole in the fuselage for a stand that is not included with this aircraft model. And for a scale 400 aircraft model, I think that is a must, especially with the prices these aircraft have these days. What else can we find here in the belly of the aircraft? Well, we can find a physical antenna that is always a lovely detail and that is of course continued on top of the fuselage where we again have more physical details in form of antennas and also accompanied by some printed details so overall a really lovely look here on the fuselage both underneath and on top of the aircraft and then last but certainly not least we should of course also mention the addition of the doors to the cargo compartments that have been printed on again with a bit of lovely detailing at the back and of course also here at the front of the aircraft So there we have it, the Airbus A320 of Pelita in what I assume is the airline's standard livery in scale 1 to 400 by Panda models. And what can we say about this aircraft model? To be honest, I think there is a reason why this aircraft model has been limited to 120 pieces. And that is simply because a domestic Indonesian airline, well, it is interesting, especially with this colorful livery, but it is not going to be a major seller across the world that's for certain but i still think it is nice when these manufacturers every now and then venture beyond the pure bread and butter business in terms of physical detailing of this aircraft model i think the panda model's mold for the a320 is solid it looks like an a320 the cockpit shape is of course the achilles heel of any manufacturer when it comes to the a320 but i think regardless of what angle i'm looking at the aircraft at it looks like an A320, so that is good. And then we are coming to the landing gear, which I think is the weak part of this aircraft model. Now, if this is a general issue with Panda models, I can't say for that. My sample size is way too small, given that this is the first Panda aircraft models I've ever been reviewing. But at least on this aircraft model, I think the landing gear is a little bit too crooked for my taste and could just have been a little bit better I mean, we've seen it with other scale 400 manufacturers. It is possible to make the A320 landing gear look a little bit better than what Panda Models has done with this aircraft model, at least. When it comes to the print quality, I mean, we have loads of detailing. The only place where I would have wished for a little bit more detailing would have been the engine nacelles. Here, I think they could have added more. At the tail of the aircraft, we do have the issue of the overlaying colors, where you basically can see at some points that the print is just getting thicker and thicker. But also you have to get really close to really notice it. So I will cut them some slack here. We have seen it better with other manufacturers, but it's also certainly not the worst I've ever seen. And I think ultimately that is kind of my conclusion for this aircraft model. It is certainly not a bad scale 400 model. I have seen certain parts better with other manufacturers, but also worse. So yeah 
kind of a middle ground in my books. But what are your thoughts on this aircraft model? Let me know in the comments section below. And with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? With that, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.